Welcome to another Bump by video and today we're going to do the 4AG addendum. And why do an addendum for a very popular video? Well, I got some comments that I made a couple of mistakes in my previous video. It's 30 minutes long and of course I have a lot of information that I got stuffed in there. And it's a couple of details that aren't exactly 100% correct. So to elaborate a bit more about why this happened, well I did a lot of research prior to uh, shooting the video and making the whole presentation and apparently I got a couple of facts wrong or I made the wrong assumption here. So one of the facts that I got wrong was the TVIS, the Toyota Variable Induction System. And as I described it, it was a butterfly valve um, uh, which is managed by the ECU sending a signal to a solenoid and the solenoid opens and closes the valves at a certain engine RPM. So far so good. As I described it, it's closing off one of the valves in the cylinder head and it's not doing that, it's closing up one of the intake runners. So the intake runner gets closed off and then by a bypass it gets to the other valve, so it's still using all 16 valves in this case. So this is where I got wrong. Um, the reason for doing this is because you want to increase the airspeed at lower RPM. If you increase the airspeed at lower RPM, you get more mixture in the combustion chamber. And if you want to know in great detail how this functions and why you should do this, check out this Engineering Explained video telling you all about how it works. So the second fact that I got wrong was VVT, uh, variable valve timing. Uh, for the 4AGE, I described it as it being used uh, with a stepper motor. This is true for the 3SGE, which was the source that I read about, but it's not true for the 4AGE. For the 4AGE, it's actually used uh, or, or sensed by uh, a solenoid uh, using some hydraulic pressure to advance the intake cam uh, hydraulically. So it's no way uh, connected to a stepper motor advancing this. That's a totally different technique. The way it works with the silver top is that it uses the input from the ECU using engine speed. For the black top it uses the engine load, temperature, etc. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different in operation on how it functions and that's also the difference between the silver and the black top. So the third fact that I got wrong was about the knock sensor. I said about the knock sensor that once it started to detect knocking, it would change the fuel mixture using the ECU. Well, actually it doesn't do that. What actually happens is that the knock sensor retards the ignition timing. And this is also a way to reduce knocking in an engine. So I hope that you have uh, found that I can be wrong as well about some facts. And it's always difficult to say that, <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, but I hope that with this video I managed to put everything right. I've put links to the sources where you can find more information about, uh, about these facts. And obviously uh, if you have anything else that you find that was wrong in my video or in any other video, just leave that in a comment and I can make an addendum to this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.